Hello and welcome to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events, the no hype zone we're calling it. We did just, uh, we called it that um, for all this stuff that was going on uh, in December and then to the beginning of, of January here because there are so much stuff flying around social media and all these weather apps as well that just showed oodles of snow. Oodles, is that a word? Remember, I mean, if you went by those weather apps that we told you not to do so in the long range especially, uh, we would have had feet of snow and ice. Well, you know that just hasn't happened. As a matter of fact, this is what has happened. Uh, I, it's heartbreak, I know. Uh, you see that there are several areas that have not seen snow in Arkansas. In fact, the only areas that have is western and northern Arkansas. I mean, look at this. Texas, Louisiana coastline, Mississippi, Alabama coastline, Florida has seen snow. We haven't in much of Arkansas. So we still have plenty of winter to go, and I want to focus this blog video on just the wild swings we're going to see in the weather uh, here in the Mid-South and in Arkansas this up and coming week. Now, when I say wild swings, I'm talking about temperature, and we do have precipitation chances, thank goodness, because we need some, and we're going to get that. I'm recording this Sunday, January the 7th. Uh, shortly before noon. So we got rain coming in and uh, we need it. We still have somewhat of a drought. Now I'm using weatherbell.com here and I'm just going to take you through the next seven days or so. Uh, some very interesting things are going on. That does not mean snow. <laughs> when I say interesting, I find all weather interesting. Uh, but we're not, we're, we're going, we're looking at a January thaw coming. Not till later. We still got some very interesting things to, to get to. And I question as to how long that January thaw is going to last. Uh, because I think that once it gets here, you're going to already see some the cold air trying to push back in from the west. But that's down the road. Let's talk about the rain today. And this is from weatherbell.com, the GFS. This is this morning's run. So this is today. You see uh, that black line circle right there. There's area low pressure, frontal boundary. It's going to head towards the southeast. We've got rain. Uh, by the way, when you look at that, the, those, the black lines, those are isobars, lines of equal barometric pressure. So you see in a closed one there, that's low pressure. You see low pressure here. You see an area of high pressure here. The blue line is the 35 degree line at the surface. 32 degree line is in red. The green blobs, that's showing you rainfall over the previous six hours. And yeah, you can see the legend off towards the right. Sorry, I just jumped in. So the rain moves away. And here comes a very potent storm system coming out of the western United States. And this is what's really interesting about this. This is Wednesday. And it's a 989 millibar low, so fairly strong low developing on the east side of the Rocky Mountains, and it's going to start to pump up some very warm and moist air. Now, the GFS, after a couple of cold days, it's got us in the 70s by Thursday. I'm not sure if that, I'm not buying that because a lot of times in these situations with such a cold ground and you get this moist air coming up, you can get a lot of low clouds, and that can temper the uh, warm up. So while you look at the surface map and you see low pressure developing out here in that flow off the Gulf of Mexico, you tend to think, oh, wow, we're really going to get warm. And then a lot of times this time of the year, it's like, well, maybe not that warm. I mean, we're not going to be cold, but we're not, it may not get quite as warm as the models say. That's, one, that's some food for thought as we head through the middle of the week. But nevertheless, a very strong area of low pressure is going to track. And it, it, you see, this is a, a very strong Arctic high coming down the east slopes of the Rockies. So snow from Colorado all the way up into the Dakotas, back towards Montana, plenty of snow. This is an area of low pressure that's going to track off towards the east, and it's going to bring in very windy conditions. And look at this swath of snow on the back end of it. So you have cold air feeding it, and then warm air, maybe some rain on Thursday, rain. But it's going to lay down a lot of snow uh, here across the plains. And at the same time, you're going to have a good push of cold air, you see that 1034, you got the, the stacked isobars, lines of equal barometric pressure, they're tightly packed, so a very strong wind flow developing. At the same time, along the frontal boundary, this is a, a, on Thursday, late in the day of Thursday, there's a wave of low pressure which develops along that frontal boundary, and the models have been very consistent in showing that wave of low pressure. The handling of it hasn't been consistent, but it does show something trying to develop on the tail end of that. And if something were to develop there, we could see some moisture thrown back into the cold air. And indeed, the GFS is showing that coming up Thursday night and Friday morning, especially for eastern Arkansas. What form of precipitation, rain, snow, sleet, freezing rain, and, and how much, 
just, it's impossible to tell right now. And there's even a chance that this doesn't really get going until it's east of Arkansas. So that's one other possibility. But what I want to show you is the fact that it does do that and it's going to get darn cold again. Uh, we're going to have a huge push in those temperatures. Like I said, the GFS going up towards 70, which I'm not completely buying. But then the temperatures are going to take a nosedive as that new Arctic boundary comes in by the end of the week. I mean, and look at this. So you get, you, you're, you've got all that snow on the ground. And then here comes another Arctic high. Look at this. This is Saturday at noon, a 1046 Arctic high in the Dakotas, feeding in strong northerly winds. You got temperatures in the 30s Friday and Saturday for highs again. You're not done with it. I mean, and then it just keeps drilling cold air down. This is Sunday morning. Look at the 32 degree line down to the Gulf Coast. I mean, it's we're, we're cold Sunday morning, very cold. How much does it warm up? A little bit of, it goes above freezing Sunday afternoon. Then right back into the uh, deep freeze coming up on Monday morning. That is a week away. So I caution you. Uh, and it does show some snow flurries, but I would not get bogged down with that right now. I just want to show you the accumulated amounts of snow. Very important. From the GFS over the next, this goes through the 12th of January. But the point that I want to show to you is, is the fact that with these uh, Arctic highs coming down, the air is going to go over fresh snow cover. And that, if you don't have that, then when the air gets down into Arkansas, it has a tendency to moderate. If you have fresh snow cover just to the north of the state and that air is traveling over that fresh snowpack, it keeps it refrigerated and doesn't allow it to modify much, especially this time of the year where you have a low sun angle too. That doesn't help. So uh, I think that there's the chance that the models are not seeing it that well and it's actually a little bit colder than what the models are. Are forecasting so and you already see whoops you already see here the uh, amount of snow that has fallen that's so far that doesn't that, that doesn't mean what's on the ground that's how much snow has fallen so far this uh, this winter now one other thing I want to show you before I leave you here these are sea surface uh, temperature anomalies in degrees Celsius for the Gulf of Mexico and I was looking at that area of low pressure coming in Wednesday and Thursday with the GFS going with 70 degrees and I'm thinking that's a path that track of that low for severe thunderstorms and it really doesn't show a lot of instability coming up. And I thought, well, maybe we're getting into that situation that's been so darn cold that the Gulf of Mexico sea surface temperatures are cooling down. And when that happens, we've seen this before in recent winters where it really cools it down and it delays the onset of our severe weather season going into spring because it doesn't give you that quality moisture return. So I just want to show you uh, what's going on with the sea surface temperature anomalies in degrees Celsius. And you see the effects of the cold air along the coast, but look at this. It is still quite warm. Uh, in the Gulf of Mexico, relatively speaking, the, the sea surface temperatures, uh, the anomalies are, are up there. You, you've got above average sea surface temperatures. So I thought that was very interesting. You see some of these blues hugging the coast. Uh, I, that's the effects of the cold air in a little bit right here. So I thought that was very interesting. And you know, the ingredients don't look necessarily there for thunderstorm activity, maybe a little bit of thunderstorm activity coming up on Wednesday and Thursday, but it doesn't look like anything uh, severe at this time. Of course, that can always change. But when you see a track of an area low pressure like that, that does raise alarm bells. So that's why I kind of wanted to look at that. And for future reference too, because if, if, you know, we're going to go into a January thaw, we're going to get some milder temperatures flooded with Pacific air, uh, not this week, but later the following week. Uh, that's when it, that's going to happen. And then you always start to look to see, okay, air off the Pacific, opens up the Gulf of Mexico, what kind of moisture return are we going to get? And uh, that, that's always in the back of your mind as we head towards late January to see when and if you can get the uh, severe thunderstorm activity. So let me, let me just uh, summarize what we're looking at here. Uh, today, some much needed rainfall. Temperature is going to be cold into Monday and then we warm up in the middle of the week, probably into the 60s. We'll see how far that warm up progresses. You know, you have such a cold ground, you get warm, moist air going over that cold ground. We'll see what kind of low clouds and fog develop with that. And uh, it's hard to mix that out too, uh, this time of year, low sun angle. So we'll see how that plays out in the middle of the week with temperatures. It is going to get mild, just how mild. And then another big drop off in temperatures. And I don't think the models are quite latching on to how cold it's going to be. Nothing like what we had before. Uh, it's still going to be cold. I don't think we're going to go have highs in the 20s. But I, I, I'd... I think that the cold might be a little bit stronger just because there's going to be fresh snowpack towards the north. And then the January thaw starts probably sometime after the 16th, 17th, 18th, somewhere in there. 
we start should start to be flooded with um, some mild Pacific air. And everybody will think winter's over. And then we still have February. Thank you so much for coming to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events.